Hello and welcome to another Swift Sensors tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to add calibration onto a temperature sensor. Once you're logged into your account, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the value listed below the sensor you want to add calibration to. From here, we'll go ahead and go over to the right hand side of the screen where we'll see a gear box. We'll go ahead and click on that gear. And from here, we'll see the option of edit and we'll go ahead and click edit. The next thing you'll notice is there's a description box where you can enter in the description of the calibration that you're adding in or any other notes that you may need. Uh, below the description box, we do see the display units box where you can choose to have everything displayed in Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. Below the display units box, we have the display precision box. Uh, this drop down will allow you to adjust how many decibel places you would like within your value. In the middle, we do have the methods, which are offset and value, offset being the most common. Uh, basically, with an offset, you go over here on the right-hand side and enter in either a negative or positive number. And once we enter in, say, positive 5, you'll notice the calibrated value goes up 5 degrees. If we enter in negative 5, the calibrated value goes down 5 degrees. The value method will allow you to go ahead and enter in your own calibrated value but we'll go ahead and use offset as it is the most common. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and enter in a plus five value. This adds five degrees onto my original value, which gives us a calibrated value of 96 degrees Fahrenheit. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and click the blue checkbox. And at this point, you'll notice that the value has changed to 96 degrees. And also in the top right hand corner, we do see that there is a five degree calibration added. That way you'll always be able to see if a sensor has calibration on it just by clicking on it and not having to go through the menu options there. For more information, please go to our website at www.swiftsensors.com. 